in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep. Yeah. Yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall <laughs> It's your mom. You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. What? How does... How does that pertain to the... Oh, I have to find the solution. I guess that's how you would do it in a game like this. What is this place? <laughs> you like it? Plenty more where it came from. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. Oh, shit. Ow! That says there's loot here. But where? Oh, Andy summons baddies. That's not fair. Oglets? Monsters weren't part of the deal. My world, my rules. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I too shall grin. Hmm. Something that repeats all I do? Maybe an echo? No. Echo. No. No dice. You can't possibly ogle an echo. Oh, wow, he's actually delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Where's the sword chat? Weep, yawn and I sleep. Smile and I too shall grin. Damn it, what are you? Yeah, but I thought he was gonna like examine it and be like, do I say this is the answer? And I'd be like, no, that's obviously not the answer. It's a really easy riddle. It was a it was a decent one until the very last phrase. The last phrase gives it away too hard. I want that fucking viper sword. Or it gives you multiple chances. Well, yeah, I agree that he, he probably really delights in you getting it wrong. Is that a river of blood? Area is confusing? Yeah, no shit. Okay, unfortunately... On the Shani, hang on, I'm coming. Bro, it's not real. That's just rude. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Wait, so the Viper Sword is somewhere in this fucking mess? Are y'all serious? Sword is stuck in a rock? Maybe there? Not your lucky day. Oh shit! It's the that thing. We never actually got to fight him. He 
is remarkably tanky. There it is! What is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? No, it's mine. Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me, time is running out. Okay, we got the sword. Now we just gotta find the answer. Children delight in me, elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice and spin. Children and young folk like swings. Could be scared. Uh, Geralt, that's too. not correct. Uh, doesn't fit the other verses, though. To all things and men I appertain. And yet Where the hell am I going to find a reflection? And and I mean the house? So you're insane. Oh, no oh. For me you're me. doing mm. terribly. What could that be? Remember. Gargoyles? Uh, always give up. As I see it. Uh... It's a mirror that doesn't break? Oh, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Jesus. What is this? A family tomb. No. To all I appertain, by some am shunned and disdained. Could be family, I guess. No. Wouldn't match much else in the riddle, though. Repeat the riddle. To all things and men I appertain. Do I have a map? There is no map. Shunned and disdained. In the house. Fondle and ogle me till you're the same, but no blow can harm. Uh, uh, Children uh. delight in me. Elders take fright. Fair maids rejoice. Mirror. There. So this is where you're hiding. <laughs> Come now. You didn't expect it to be that easy, did you? You cheating prick. you say yet i wait and wait and nothing the mirror that doesn't the glass that doesn't break care to wager on it that son of a bitch oh he's i'll still get you so you say yet i wait and wait and nothing Gotta be some mirror here you won't shatter. Seek <laughs> <laughs> and ye shall find. Fuck! Ah. Wonder how you'll shatter a sheet of water. Sheet of water? Where? Where? Where's the water? Oh, I found a pit. <laughs> You're just dying, God. You're just like, ah, oh, come on, man. Like, I. You're right. it, it, it was hard, but it wasn't that hard. You didn't have to jump off the cliff. <laughs> oh God, where does it drop me off at? Oh, are you kidding? What is this place? Uh, all the way at the beginning. <laughs> you like it? Okay, it's fine. Plenty fine, I know where I'm going. Where came from. I know where I'm going. Just remember, you must find me before time runs out. Fine. I'm not fighting you. Fuck you guys. Uh, I don't. No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Space. All right. It's through the archway. And then all the way up there. Gravity reset time. Ah, yes. Time's greatest enemy. Gravity. Jump. Fuck. Come here, bitch.
What is it about swords that turns men into utter fools when they see one for the taking? A nice sword! Through howling winds, pouring rain, with their life hanging by a thread. Which reminds me, time is running out. Mom's running out. Let's go. All right. So we know. We go in the house. We run along until all the mirrors shatter, and then we find water that lets us see our oh, reflection. And he can't oh, shatter it. You're doing terribly. Ow! Rude. You can always give up. As I see it, you will never find me. Never. This is where you're hiding. Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> you didn't expect it to be that easy. It'd be super funny if you could just jump and like make the gap. And he's just like, no! <laughs> That's cheating! <laughs> Point for me. I'll still get you. So you say so yes. Yeah, fountain, wait, but it's empty. Wait. Oh! There's a crack in the wall! Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Small cock. Pickle glass in the water. Shen Konya Momige. Ara. Snede. Man Amara. See you in hell, bitch. So, any better? I thought I got to play him in yeah, Gwent. Thanks. Wine's revived me a bit. This plonk could revive a corpse. An exquisitely rank vintage. He's speaking three different languages you know what, there. Though? It's good at last to taste something real. So, have at it. Tell me what the blaze has just happened. Your brand's gone. Guessing that's a good sign. Oh, title drop. First off, you tell me what it's like to have a heart of stone. <sighs> It's wonderful at the start. You feel no fear, no angst, but also no concern, no care for anyone, not even those you loved. And gradually, you lose them. Well, you know how it ended. What about your senses? Taste, smell? All there. At first, I savored the world like never before. It was stronger, more clear. How's that possible? I did not wish for a heart of stone. That was a mere side effect. I wished to win back Iris's hand and have my fortune restored. And then to live like there was no tomorrow. And thus I lived until... Until I ceased to feel anything at all. What a joy to be done with it. Because I am done, right? Will you tell me what happened? If you choose not to interfere, Gondra will take Olgierd's soul and ask if you wanted anything yourself. You can respond for things like money, power, etc. Or tell him just to sod off and that's the end. Oh, really? It just ends there? There's one thing you can get from Gondra. It's super interesting as a reward. Gondra can tell you how to save Siri. Ooh. Uh, sure, I'll tell you the specifics. Odim decided to have some fun at my expense. Devised a game I was supposed to lose. Seems he'd forgotten the training you put me through in doing the undoable. So only to protect myself. In doing so, 
I put you in harm's way. Forgive me. Mm. Well, don't have to worry about him anymore. You're safe and free. I thank you. Though I've no notion what to do with this freedom now. Mira took everything. Everything I loved. All I held dear. I don't know, dude. Go somewhere far, 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 far away Not and start true. over. Got your heart back. A bitter victory. Now at last I sense how much I've lost. I have a heart again. Yet all it feels is grief, sadness, and defeat. My life is a ruin. Well, then start making amends, dude. say I envy you as the saying goes careful what you wish for oh I shall be believe me actually I have a better idea I'll never wish for anything again in your position very smart Each time I took fate into my own hands live life anew and truly this time Just don't be a sounds like a plan douchey raider this time I'll never forget what you did for me witcher I have something for you. Oh, the sword! Can't accept this. You can, and must. This saber's been in my family for generations. Even when I'd lost all else, it remained at my side. Means a great deal to me. All the more reason why I can't take it. Do me the honor. This'll mark the start of my new life. And such a weapon could be right useful to you. Thank you. Ow. Oop. Sorry. The item is called weapons called Iris. You needn't be. I thank you again. Yeah, cuts can hurt you now, dude. Be careful. And good luck on the path. Good luck to you too. I will say the thing that really, 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 ah, we did it. That's the end. Woo. Hearts of Stone is really good. That was a very good story. I will, I will say the story is very heavily saved by how innocuous his wish was. Like he did not wish for anything horrible. Truly, he didn't. It's just that the creature he made it with like twisted it in like the worst possible way. How do I think Odim would compare power wise in the Warhammer universe? Uh, Odim is basically on par with like a very, very minor God, or he's on par with like a reasonably powerful demon. Um, though there are some pretty minor powered demons that can do what he did. Not to, not quite to the extent that he does, but um, Gaunter is, he, he'd be pretty low on the, the power scale as far as like when you're dealing with gods. Uh, but he would definitely be like, you know, he's definitely a pretty nasty piece of work. Uh, let's see. So the translated phrase for what Odem said is he was quote unquote dying is you are primitive. You think you've defeated me, but you are wrong. I can't be killed. I will be back. Yeah, well, enjoy being a loser forever, you nerd. Check Discord DMs. Okay. So, uh, Brandon, so yes, that is, that is what I want it to be. Um, however, do you think there's any way to like make it a little fancier looking? So like what I was kind of thinking is, you know, like kind of the imaging around it where you have like the, 
the 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 general void of space and you can see like kind of like the little cloud on the left is there any way we could like expand that like like do that do a thing where like we click on it and kind of like paint more space to look like that background or maybe just take like some generic oh then yes yeah 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 i just don't want it to be on a black background but yes that is absolutely what i was thinking just with a with a more interesting background behind like the lettering and everything and like you know you can see other stars that aren't important and stuff like that what is a witcher in the warhammer universe he's a witch hunter he's like a very specialized and heretically created witch hunter but basically what would be on par with Geralt would be a would be a Templar of the Witcher uh, Witch Hunter order like a big one like a Witch Hunter general um a Witch Hunter general who was like a full on Templar and like was actually able to wield faith powers would be much more equivalent to Geralt in power because he'd actually be able to manifest like powers You could also argue that Geralt might be on par with an exorcist or a um a oh god what are they called there's a word for it and it's right on the tip of my tongue uh jesus i can't remember what it's called oh There's a there's a name for wizards that no not a warrior priest um it's it's not a playable character in Total War. There's a name for wizards who specialize in hunting down other wizards. I cannot remember what the life of me they're called. Um, they basically hunt down like wizards that fall to necromancy or chaos or other things like that. Um, and they're basically like the witch hunters of the colleges of magic. So like they don't work for the witch hunters they work for the colleges of magic and they are a different force that try and deal with these things quietly they're called like me, me, i think it starts with an m is it inquisitor i was gonna say it either starts with an i or an m maybe it is inquisitor i know what book i can look into but i don't I feel I I, I want to let the yeah, here I'm gonna look it up. Um, I know I know where it is. Uh, it's one. I thought it was in this book. I wish they had organized it different. Uh, is it not in this book? Maybe I'm looking in the wrong book. Maybe it's in the Tome of Corruption, which is in Warlock. Templars, Renegade Hunters. And that's not in this book.
Uh, what is that book called? Great, now I've got this brain bug and I've got to fix it or I'm going to lose my mind. Then this book? Uh, let's see, page 123. No, it's not a cloaked brother. No, this isn't it either. Fuck, what book is this? I think they get brought up in... Oh, gosh. Master Vigilance. That's what they're called. Magister Vigilance. Ah. Good God. That was, that was going to bother me. Magister Vigilance. Ah, there we go. Ah, my brain feels so much better now. <laughs> my brain feels so much better now. Yes, Magister Vigilance are the, uh, are wizards that are responsible for hunting down other big bad wizards. But I, I would still say that a, like a full on Witch Hunter General or Templar Templar of the Witch Hunter Order is more on par with Geralt. Just one that's wielding a pretty hefty amount of magic items. In a crossover between Warhammer and the Witcher, Sigvald would see all the dating Geralt has done and become, <laughs> become <laughs> became, a, became a Witcher instead. Sigvald would be like, this is the life for me! Uh, yeah, I imagine the whole cannibalism and not having any self-control whatsoever would probably get him on a lot of people's bad bad side. Is there a Warhammer 3 character that is comparable to Gaunter? Odim? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, trying, uh, it, if you're asking for like a specifically named character, I'm trying to think of a character that's famous for making deals. Um, I mean, obviously... The, the Dark Gods are very fond of making deals. Zinch in particular is a big shit about that. Um, but as for someone who specifically is really big into pact making, A demon that offers you a wish and then really screws you on the wish. I don't, I wouldn't say that there is one particular demon that is super well known for that being his entire shtick. It does happen a lot. Like Kairos Fate Weaver. Um, has definitely appeared in a few scenarios where he makes um, bad deals. Um, actually, here, here, here would be a fun note for you. Um, I, I have to keep this vague because one of the players is in chat, but there is a character, um, there is an entity, I will say, who will appear in the Warhammer Fantasy roleplay campaign I'm running right now. Um who fulfills the Odim role. Um, so I, I won't say anything more than that, but uh, basically I'll just leave it as there, there is a, there is a entity that they will be dealing with probably in the next five or 10 sessions. Um, they won't know it for longer than that, but there is an entity they will be dealing with uh, who that's a big thing of his. And it has a huge influence on the plot.
power over time puts Odim above most demons? Uh, uh, yeah, his power over time, I would say, um, makes him more on par with like, uh, I would say like a herald or a greater demon. That being said, like Odim's power over time doesn't seem to be complete power over time. It seems to be extremely finite um, and very specific because otherwise I don't know why he would not use that constantly to just cheat always and win. He seems bound by more rules. Who is it? Oh, I'm not going to say. If you want to know, just show up to the campaigns. Or message me on Discord. I, I'll send you the message on Discord if you want. Do great unclean ones feel anything when they die? Uh, yeah, it's painful and they're not happy about it. <laughs> it. It depends on how they die, but they can feel pain. Um, they're very, 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 very... It's very difficult to make them feel pain, especially through... Oh, that's sad. Um, Pacta Sunt Servanda. Oh, okay. I want to read these. I want to read the character thing for him. Where is he? Let's see. I'm, I'm going to go over these very quickly. Uh, Iris, when Geralt visited Uglier von Everick to hear his third and final wish, he learned the rough and rowdy Ottoman had once been married. At some point, he had left his wife, however, and gave her a violet rose as a parting gift. Geralt's task was to find this rose somewhere in the von Everick's abandoned manor. When he arrived there, he discovered the estate was haunted by a malicious rape tied to Uglier's wife, Iris, who had died of loneliness years prior. Her rage and remorse now filled her former house with evil energy. Geralt gathered up Iris's remains and buried them in the manor's garden. He did this both out of simple human decency... Uh, and cold calculation, for he knew this act would calm her unsettled spirit and lead him to the Violet Rose. During the funeral, a now quieted Iris appeared to Carol and took him on a journey to a world which existed only in her mind. This painted world consisted of her fears and memories, which Carol now had to confront. Iris von Everick's memories first recalled happy days spent in Oglair's company, then became darker and darker. In fact, even the sunnier ones had an ominous cloud hanging over them. An uneasy feeling something horrible would soon happen. Iris von Everick had been a sensitive woman and noted <laughs> subtle changes in her husband's behavior. She had lacked the courage, however, to delve into their cause. Uglier's von Everick's heart had turned to stone, turning him into a monster. Iris hated what her husband had become, but could not stop loving him. The couple endured together in a painful cohabitation until Uglier ended it by abandoning his wife. Iris never came to terms with their separation, could not in fact ever bring herself to read her husband's farewell letter. Yet the violet rose he gave her upon her leaving, she kept making a focal point for all the longing and love ravaging, raging in her soul. When she died, these unresolved feelings kept her spirit in this world and continued to cause her suffering. The witcher's intervention helped Iris accept what had happened to her and her husband. When he asked her for the rose, she agreed to give it to him knowing this would put a final end to her pain and suffering and also her very existence. I mean, it wasn't much of an existence. And then... Oh, the professor? Oh, no. Professor Shakeslock. Geralt was wrecking his brains for a way to defeat Master Mirror when Shawnee came to his rescue. She knew a professor for the Oxford Academy who had spent years scrutinizing every manifestation of black magic and surely would be able to help. Unfortunately, the witch hunters had decided the professor's knowledge was best used for their goals and their goals had only... Play, uh, only and had placed guards outside his home. Officially, he was a free man, but in reality, no one entered or left the house without permission. The professor told Geralt of the long hours he had spent scouring old tones for accounts of Gontar Ogim, alias Master Mirror. He had sent, he had been sent on this trail by Ogler von Everick, who had paid him handsomely for his labors. The research had borne fruit in the form of a great many secrets about the mysterious Odim, including a p possible way to outsmart him. Sadly, however, the professor did not live to see if this trick would work for Geralt in practice, for during their conversation, Sakes Lock... Uh, made one step outside the runic circle drawn on the floor of his residence and died immediately. We will never know if this step was accidental or deliberate. By the time Geralt met him, he had become a tired and tormented wreck who might have just considered death a relief. Then the black cat and dog. Tasked with finding the violet rose Oakler to given his wife, Geralt traveled with the Von Everick family's abandoned estate, which had become home to a host of strange and horrifying creatures. Among these were a black cat and dog who, though able to speak, chose to say very little about themselves. Geralt surmised they were demons from another sphere who had been summoned by black magic, trapped in animal bodies, and bound to serve Iris von Everick. The enigmatic duo trusted Geralt would help them to regain their lost freedom, even though he himself had no idea how he might go about doing such a thing. Later, when Geralt encountered Iris von Everick's memories, he learned Oglard and some of the otherworldly dog and cat to keep his wife company in his absence, an idea only a man with a heart of stone could have imagined working. The two creatures remained loyal to Iris even after she died and transformed into an enraged ghost, but they never loved her and felt no sympathy for her fate. For such feelings did not form a part of their nature and did not reside even in the darkest corners of their souls. In the end, the strange dog and cat regained their longed-for freedom when Iris von Everett gave Geralt the Violet Rose, thereby ending her existence. With their lady gone, the dog and cat service ended and they were free again at long last. 
All right, and then where where is he? Where is Gaunter Odim? Gerald has escaped a great many predicaments, sometimes his own doing, sometimes aided by others. One of the strangest helping hands was that was that extended to him by Master Mirror. The Witcher was on a fiery ship, held captive, bound for a date with the gallows, when out of nowhere in came Master Mirror. He reminded the Witcher of their first encounter, in which he helped Geralt find Yennefer in the White Orchard. Now he was offering help as well, this time for a price. In exchange for freeing Geralt from the ship, he demanded Geralt meet him at a certain crossroads. The Witcher agreed. A strange mark appeared on his face. It was as though Master Mirror put a stamp on him to show they entered into a uh, into as a pact, a suspicion later confirmed by all doubt. Oh, interesting. There's a spelling error in this. Or a grammar error, rather. Gontor Odim explained that he and their mutual acquaintance, Oglair von Everick, had entered into a strange pact. Their deal stipulated Odim would have, have to grant von Everick three wishes, yet he could not do so on his own, having to call instead upon the services of a proxy. And who better to provide such assistance than a witcher? Since Odim made agreeing to be this proxy a condition for receiving the help of the Afiri ship, Geralt had little choice but to agree. Master Mirror appeared once again, suddenly and out of nowhere as usual, after Ogler proclaimed his first two wishes. Mirror told Geralt of a way to show Ogler's brother the time of his life, even though his life had in fact ended years earlier. He equipped Geralt with Von Everick blood and the knowledge of how to summon Vladimir's ghost. Just how Odim had managed to collect a vial of Von Everick blood was never made clear, but then again, burning question marks hung over everything the strange figure did. Master Mirror made an appearance at the wedding Geralt intended with Shani and the ghost of Vladimir, who inhabited Geralt's body so that he may enjoy one last night of earthly revelry. When midnight struck, Vladimir was unsurprisingly in no mood to abandon the pleasures of the Witcher's flesh. Yet Master Mirror intervened to put an immediate and cruel end to Vlad's stay among the living. Geralt later told me the cries of torment uh, Vlad's ghost made haunt his dreams for months to come. Geralt came away from his meeting with Professor Shakeslog knowing a way to outfox Master Mirror. The demonic pact maker could be lured into a wager, win, or, win it, and he would be defeated once and for all. Geralt soon discovered Professor Shakeslog's works, uh, Slock's words were true. Master Mirror could indeed be defended in his own game. Geralt made a bet with him, wagering everything on one battle of wits and won. By solving Master Mirror's riddle, he drove the demon from our dimension, though I fear he may yet return. His kind always returns. It's nice that he got, like, full-on banished for a hot while, though. Like, get absolutely stomped. Oh my goodness. We did it, chat. We did it. Man, I gotta say, I am genuinely impressed how the writing made me go from full-on despising um, Von Everick to being like, damn, dude. Like, that, that, was, that was an impressive pivot right at the end. Because I did not realize that the Heart of Stone... I, I think they were very clever about how they revealed it in the sense that I thought his heart of stone was just that he was immortal and that he had just spent his, his immortality just caused him to like break down into being an absolute bastard. But like ultimately it was completely his own decisions and like his own fault when they do make it clear that nope, he actually didn't wish for anything super shitty. Um, like he didn't, and it wasn't that like he got bored of life. It was that he got genuinely cursed. Like, he made a, he absolutely made a deal with the wrong thing. And I still think he's a dumbass. And I still think that even in his regular life, he was probably, um, he was still cruel. But, like, man. Did he get dealt a heavy ass hand? Now right, we're gonna get our, get out of here so we can get to a teleport thing. Why can I not summon my horse here? Okay, I guess I just am not horse summoning anymore. Fine, I'll run. Ah! Sumnoff power chia. X100. Does more have an empire provenance that favors him, like Middenheim and Ulrich? No, um, because at the end of the day, while everyone respects the god of death, everyone is also fucking terrified of the god of death. Um, Roach was Odim? Oh my god, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense now, chat. How could I not? Man, that, everything adds up. <laughs> 
the way he just magically appears whenever you need him suddenly suddenly it all comes together uh but no there is not a entire province that is dedicated or like anything or even a city that's dedicated to more uh because to do so would probably be seen as not wise um and more usually has very little interest in the living um there you know he does have a very sizable cult and his cult stretches like across everything uh of like all of mankind uh at least in the old world but he himself uh does not have a realm that solely focuses him 